J Hibs shirt for Palik. This is it. This is the big one. Manchester United 2, Manchester City 1. And with my brother, oh. Joe Smith. Joe, hey. never in doubt, was it, son? No, honestly, the mad thing is, it wasn't really. No. How has that happened? Yeah. That's the most convincing win we've had over City. Ever. Since when? When's the last time we were 2 0 up against Man City in any game? I can't remember. Um, Oli, what, once, I, I think maybe. We did. Yeah, I don't know, man. It feels like a long time ago anyway. But to do it in an FA Cup final, Eddie Tanai got his tactics right. Yeah. First 20 minutes, whatever, yeah. City had loads of the ball. You're thinking, oh, it's going to be one of those days. But at least yeah. we didn't concede after 12 seconds. Yeah. But then we get that first goal, that Garnacho goal, which is a bit of a mistake by them. And you're thinking, I began to think, I began to believe, it started, Robert. Things started happening, didn't they? That's the thing, though. That ball over the top was causing problems the whole time. I think Kyle Walker looked decent against Rashford, but Rashford turned up for the second goal amazingly. But Garnacho's running, determination, what we've seen from him all season, we got him a goal. By the end, it was a tapping, but him being on, on Guardiola's back is what made that mix-up happen, what made that mess happen. And from there, that first half today is the best half of football we've played all season. It was immaculate. And then the second goal, the pass from Rashford out wide, the ball inside, the little flick from Bruno, the finish from Kobe Mainu. It was an absolutely astonishing goal, that. And City, when they were 2-0 down, you could tell there was panic then. There was panic. They the were, Reds were, were going, nervous. did you see Carl Walker kicking off with uh, Miners when he, he wouldn't get off the pitch and all that? Yeah. And yes, we know there's Blue Moon playing in the background, and it's hilarious. It's this is meant to be the City after party, by the way, and uh, no one's turned up because they got beat. I'm thinking of buying some of those lo losers' medals on eBay. They'll be going cheap there. Well, I, I want the whole squad's losers' medals on there's my some wall. scattered around there, I think. There must right. be. We don't know what's going to happen with Eric tonight, but do you want to see him stay? He's got to stay. I think, I mean, you don't want to let one result make all the difference, but that's two trophies in two seasons in a row now. And the FA Cup is a big trophy as well. Beating City in a final can never be overestimated. Even in a season that has been terrible, if a terrible season has an FA Cup win against Man City in it, it ain't that bad. Do you know what I mean? I think if this is as bad as it gets under Ten Hag, then the future is very bright. He's only got one year left on his contract anyway. We're going to have to pay him money to leave. Let's just give him that last year and see what he can do. Let's buy, you know, we've got players above him who can buy the right players in regardless. You've got to give him more time. You've got to. You've got to. And you know what the added bonus is? And I know you love this as well, because you've always fought, fought the flag for this or f f flew the flag for this. Europa League next season, baby. I've got the Europa. I'm, it was about 15 minutes after full time, and I turned to your brother actually and went, hang on a sec, this is Europa That's League. That's what I said, I didn't realise it was. I mean, it's pathetic, really, isn't it? You want the Champions League, but it's European football. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, that. Europa League, what a trophy. We're in it. We're in it to win it. Um, but just one final thing as well. I, I mentioned, you mentioned Kobe Mainu's goal. I think yeah. he got a player in the match. Yeah. I, I think Kobe Mainu, like, over the last few months as well, he's had a few critics, people going, should have been in the England squad, yeah. has his form dipped slightly, is he not quite the amazing player that he was, he was uh, touted to be? He showed everyone today, didn't he, what he was about. Because for a 19-year-old, step onto that Wembley pitch yeah. and absolutely boss the midfield, along with Amrabat as well, and uh, Bruno, give him credit. I mean, what a guy. What a guy. What a player. And he's, he's clearly, clearly a, a unique talent. You see, you see people come through the academy and they don't look like Hobby Mainu. The touch, in, when he, he'll have four men around him and he's taking it on his chest and he's taking his time and he's rolling his foot over the ball and he finds a pass. Like I've never seen an academy player at Manchester United be able to do the things he does in big games as well, scoring against Liverpool, scoring against City, scoring the winner against Wolves. He's chipping in with goals and they're big goals against big teams. Amrabat needs a shout out as well. That was his best performance in a Man United shirt. He was absolutely exceptional as well. But Hobby Mainu, just what a player. It's, a, it's a, a breath of fresh air and it's a gift to be able to watch him play. It's unbelievable. It's a gift to be able to watch him play. It's a gift for Manchester United. We've got the FA Cup and it's a gift. We've got Europa League football Good next season. Time. See you later, my brother. Yes, yeah. I see you again. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe and all that nonsense.